Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Gemrock coming to you today with a brand new video, boys. And today, we are going through and upgrading our prestige team as well as claiming a 93 overall world stage master. So let's get right into the video. So guys, welcome to another video on the channel and today guys, what we're going to be doing is going through and upgrading our prestige team. But first and foremost, what we're going to be doing is actually going through and picking up one of these new 93 overall masters. This is why I grind campaign guys to go and get these world stage points to allow me to advance on this tree because this tree is an absolute gold mine and you can get so many skill boosts from it. It's absolutely fantastic. The quarterfinals rewards, guys, are very, very good value. It only costs you 60 points to go from the start of the quarterfinals to the end player. So 10 points per node for 200 skill boosts. So 30 points for 600 skill boosts, as well as 30 points for a 93 overall auctionable player, guys, which is crazy. So what we're going to be doing is going through and converting these points. Um, now, this is why I'm focusing on campaign, guys. So it allows me to get these world stage points and advance further through the tree and just get a whole bunch of resources that way. So we're just going to go through and convert up these points and then we'll be right back. And just going through and collecting up the final 10 points guys. So there it is, 60 points, all from campaigns and obviously the live event as well. Now let's just go through and check up what the prices of these 93 overall cards are. I'm thinking of doing um, Iceland, Croatia or Nigeria, depending on which one is the rarest because obviously we can try and get the most value out of it. So let's see here, we do have a few Dybalas, so I'll probably skip the Dybala. Um, there are no Croatian or uh, any of the Icelandic players, so I'm going to go with Iceland guys because we did previously uh, just pick up their players. So let's go through and claim up these rewards. This is going to help out our team significantly though um, in terms of the skill boosts. Like, the skill boosts are going to save us so many coins uh, in terms of XP, etc. But we will also go and upgrade our team. We'll do a whole bunch of training uh, near the end of the video. So let's go through and claim up these skill boosts, guys. 200 skill boosts per node for only 10 points. That's why I suggested in the other video the other day to just continue working on the path and continue working on the campaign because we never know what the rewards are, guys. And obviously, if I keep grinding out the campaign, it does set me up for the next semi-final rewards. Who knows what they're going to be? They could be absolutely epic. And then obviously the finals. So let's see what we get. We just get a whole bunch of skill boosts. And here we are, guys, moving on to the 30-point player. Only 30 points. I still can't get over how cheap that is, actually, for a 93 overall. And plus a 75k, which is always good. And there he is, guys. And we are back. And as you can see, guys, those skill boosts helped us out significantly. That's so important, man. Like, look at that. Three of my players are going to get plus one on the aggression as well as two on the marker. So let's just go through and update the ones that does affect my Argentinian team. And then, guys, we will look at upgrading our team. We also got some uh, more campaign packs for Morocco this time around. Um, and we are currently working on the Netherlands campaign. So that's going to be a cool one to do. There's some pretty nice players. Um, and I have been enjoying playing with them, to be honest with you. Uh, Memphis Depay. Uh, Ryan Babel, it's a pretty good team guys, Wijnaldum as well, they're all really really quick and good at Rainbow. Um, so let's go and update this Dybala as well. So that should push us to 101 overall, and then we're going to need to do a whole bunch of upgrading to get to 102. Which is fine though because we've got some masters we can use as XP, as well as a whole bunch of XP just gathered. So there's 101 overall guys. Um, I also obviously, every time when I do remember and when I have the points, go and collect up the skill boost for the bonus points. A lot of people ask me how I get skill boosts, world stage and bonus points, and that's because of campaign grind, guys. That's why campaign grinding is so important and just allows for a much faster process of progress, I should say. But let's go and collect up these, and then we're going to jump into the final aspect of the video, including Moroccan packs, as well as upgrading the team. So that's what I suggest, guys. World stage and campaigns. Let's jump into the aspect guys, right we are away. back. So as you can see, we did sell that 92 overall is Zoho for 8 million coins. That was from round of 16, uh, a video two days ago when we did claim up four masters. Um, but guys, here it is, man. This is the big one, guys. Look at this. 18 million coins for that 93 overall card, guys. That is why I'm focusing on campaign. Prestige isn't going anywhere. You know, Prestige is going to be there for the next 20 odd days or so. But the World Stage event is, you know, coming to an end, obviously, when the World Cup finishes. Um, and on top of that, you know, the market 
every day guys gets lower and lower and lower because people are packing more cards and the supply of cards is going up, 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 up. But for the time being, that's why I'm focusing on campaigns guys. Campaigns for world stage points as well as bonus points and the XP. Now, the way that I look at it is that the world stage points are going to help out my core team significantly because a lot of people are wondering like what am I going to do with all these coins when the World Cup finishes guys or I may even do it even sooner I'm going to be upgrading my team like crazy my core team I'm going to be using elites as XP I'm going to be spending hundreds of millions of coins on my team to upgrade it guys um, so it's going to be really really good that's why I'm just focusing on campaign because I know that prestige is going to be there and 18 million coins guys for one card is absolutely insane like that's crazy guys that's that's insane and campaigns are so so easy as well like they, they don't take that much time in my opinion anyway if you have a good team you can do it really really quickly um but here it is guys the 92 overall isaac as well can we get anything else uh, let's see we do get xp which is always good we do also pack an 82 overall card which is absolutely fantastic i'll probably use that zayak as xp alternatively i'll use them in the exchange um, although masters like the the base masters are getting much more difficult to sell let's go through and collect up this xp so 70k xp plus 12 bonus points and we are getting close to that tier 10 pack so i'm really excited to see what we get in that we do get 75k xp though even though it did say 70 i suppose i'll take it that's absolutely fantastic two more tiers away from tier 10 guys and then that's it we are done with the world level event i'm wondering if that will get extended i don't know let's go through and claim up our free pack this is such a great great source of xp as well and another reason as to why you should be focusing on campaigns look at that guys look at all that xp that's insane amount of xp world stage points and skill boosts the resources that we like to see and that do help us in the long run now what we're going to be doing is just deleting out this moroccan team because we will be using a few of them uh, for upgrading my main team so we are just going to set this as our active and delete out the moroccan team we're not going to be using all the moroccan cards as xp though just because we have got a whole bunch of coins and we are going to go and buy some elites for xp um, as well as obviously just having xp in our uh, resources so let's go through and upgrade our goalkeeper now we did complete the russian campaign um and i'm just going to use akin Thieve as xp because why not i will have enough masters for the exchange spc and because of the fact that you know i try to do at least one campaign a day if possible um obviously you know like we talked about it a few days ago guys i'm gonna have more than enough for the exchange spc so i may as well just use them uh as xp and i may even look at picking up some um specific cards just to help with the spcs as well the exchange spcs but we've got some now uh sped up footage of us upgrading our team now i think we needed 10 overall ratings to get up to 102 so it's not going to be cheap guys it's going to be very very expensive i mean not expensive it's just going to cost a a lot of xp um we are going to be using that huge chunk of moroccan xp as well because what we've previously um, been doing is obviously transferring a whole bunch of XP over to the other teams to do their campaigns, but sometimes they just grow significantly and it gets too much to um, actually transfer it. So once it does get too high, like over 400k worth of XP, um, I do just transfer it into my main team. That's the way that I look at it anyway. And obviously we are using like the 80s, the 82s, the 85s and the 88s uh, for XP um, once we've completed the campaign anyway. Also guys, um, in terms of the exchange SBCs, I'm not sure, like, I may even go for the 100 overall SBC, um, because we've got so much time left, but we'll have to wait and see, like, I don't even know if it's really worth me upgrading my team that high. Um, will I go for a Roberto Carlos? Um, maybe, we'll see. I I'm not really all that interested in him though, because I do use three at the back, um, but we'll see guys, he'll be good as a 97 overall card for rank up purposes. But we, you can see here, we are just going through and collecting up a whole bunch of uh, cheap elites, like 82 overalls. You can also try and snipe like 83 overalls if you want um, to, to, you know, work on your team. I'll probably suggest, you know, trying to snipe 83s if you've got the time, like under 210, 200k. Um, but I'm just doing it, guys, because, you know, I've got so many coins now and I may as well just use them. So we are just going to upgrade our goalkeeper one more rating. And we've just got a few more ratings and we needed to go and pick up some of that midfield XP as well. Because obviously our right mids and our left mids are very, very important. Um, but yeah, another thing in terms of the exchange SPCs, I may just go through and do the English campaign because they've got a whole bunch of high rated cards. 
Let's go through and upgrade this big layer one more time because I'm pretty sure he does get a rainbow once he has um, gotten up to 92 overall. But this pretty much is, guys. You can see why I'm focusing on campaign. And I hope you do understand why I feel as though it is so important. So many coins, guys, and so many great, great resources. But there he is, guys. I'm um, 92 overall big layer. And I'm pretty sure that this will bring us up to the 102 team. And this will allow us just to go and get up to 1,000 caps. And I can just sit at 1,000 caps and watch the ads and get, uh, you know, the resources for that. Um, but we will be working on a few other things. This is Jamrit signing out for the day. Thank you all for everything and peace.